had to show the people the expensive Asian pizza. Thumbnail time. Ah! <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special Fung Bros food. We are going to compare the four major pizza chains. We got Papa John's, we got Domino's, we got Pizza Hut, we got Little Caesars, and as our Asian competitor, we got the Korean style pizza. Let's go! Now, I know there are other people, plenty of other people on the internet that have done this challenge, but none of them have ever included the dark horse Asian Korean style pizza. Now we're gonna break this down into two rounds. First, the pepperoni. Oh. Second, special the pizza. And then we're gonna add all the scores together and give a full total point breakdown. That makes sense because the pepperoni has to be the control group. And some people only eat pepperoni ever on pizza. What? The specialty pizza is going to be what is considered, through my research, their best pizza. Same. That Pizza Hut box looks like it has not changed since 1982. Pizza uh -huh. Hut, you've been the same. We actually have a lot of instructions from Domino's. They want to tell you how you can order online. Here at Papa John's, you kind of have what seems to be like a newspaper article. A whole breakdown of all their ingredients. They're trying to tell you how fresh their pizza is. Little Caesars, they keep it simple. Pizza, pizza, delivery, delivery. Now this one, we got from the Korean style pizza. It doesn't really look like it came from a Korean. It actually looks like it comes from Uncle Nino's uh, back in Brooklyn. It's all good. Goodbye. All right, guys. Let's start with our first competitor, Pizza Hut. What do you notice? Uh, right off the bat, the dough is very doughy. It's very soft. It doesn't have like a hard texture to it. Would you say it almost feels like a, a memory foam right now? I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's not gonna be delicious. The, the, I'm trying to say delicious things here. <laughs> so guys, here is the hand-tossed pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. A lot of cheese, a lot of sauce. Great pepperoni coverage too. I actually don't get much sauce. The sauce I do get is a little tangy. There you guys, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Don't be taking them extra bites. What you mean? It's too late, I already took it. I'm going to amend my pizza scale, because I am from New York. I am gonna tone it down a little bit. I'll give Pizza Hut a solid seven. All right, Benson, you're going with seven out of 10. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I thought it was pretty solid. Go on. Next competitor, of course, the other juggernaut, Domino's. Wow. Way more seasoning. Mm. They pack on the Italian You can seasoning. smell the garlic coming off the crust on this. Mm. That, that, I gotta say, smells more aromatic. Domino's hand-tossed pepperoni. Oh, way different texture. Way more herbs. But there's a lot more sugar in the tomato sauce. The crust almost tastes like a breadstick. Funny that though. looks more like more than two bites, Benson. Oh, okay. Oh, it was sandwich. There were sandwich bites. Okay. This Domino's bite was maybe like a nine. Flavor-wise, I actually really enjoyed it, but texture-wise, I wasn't really feeling it. It was a little too grainy at the bottom. It was. It almost tasted like I was eating sand because there's so much breadcrumbs and stuff. Yeah. And all these little like flower seeds. I don't know. I actually, also, it's flour on I the also, bottom. I give it an eight overall. Gonna give it an eight point five. Guys, the next pepperoni slice that we have to try comes from Korea Town Pizza Company. Korean culture has a lot of their own versions of these like middle America foods, whether it's corn dogs, mm -hmm. pizza. It was at this moment that he knew he f <laughs> I think there's some other stuff. Korea Town Pizza Company. I can tell you this right off the bat, guys, there's a ton of cheese. I did get that Chuck E. Cheese party pack feel. The cheese is definitely much sharper in taste than the Pizza Hut and the Domino's. It did kind of taste like you put cheese sticks on top and melted it. But I would actually say I did enjoy this slice. Gotta give it a 7.5 out of 10. I was debating whether it's tied with Pizza Hut. It's just the greasiness, I think, took it over the top. I'm gonna to agree with you and give it 7.5. You have some really great pros and really big cons. It's like a Dion Waiters type situation. Damn. Korea Town Pizza Company. Seven! Whoa. Next up, we got Papa John's hand-tossed pepperoni. You can see from the crust, it's kind of light and fluffy. Papa John's. Papa Juan. Tastes pretty different. Oh, man. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. No, you tossed your piece aside super quick, bro. It was just not up to my standards. I used to be a Papa John's fan, but I have to keep it real. This slice is coming in at a six. I'm not really feeling it because the crust is way too chewy. I give it a six out of ten. I'm going lower. I'm going... Five. That sauce it. must have like a couple tablespoons of sugar in it. Right, Ryan, you sound like a pizza snob, but tell them why you are. I'm from New York. We do it right. Growing up, I didn't eat Papa John's and Domino's. I got my local pizzeria. Right. It comes with the garlic dipping sauce. Can we use it? I think we gotta use it real quick. All right, with the garlic dipping sauce, Papa John's is your last chance. Couldn't save it. Uh -huh. It couldn't save it. I remember a time in my life and, and life changes, society changes, the world changes, guys. At a time, I used to think Papa John's with the garlic yeah. dipping sauce was like a 9 out of 10. Papa John's, Papa, 
Nah. Okay, the final pizza of the pepperoni round is of course Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Now, I've actually never had Little Caesars pizza before. Um, just crazy. There's over 5,000 of them. <laughs> but when you're in New York, you just walk down the street and you get a slice of pizza. I guarantee it's better than this. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. The uh, spices actually though, remind me the most of a regular slice of pizza. Very surprised by this offering by Little Caesars. Is that Asiago or Parmesan? What is that? That is fire, actually. Wow. Wow. I thought this sauce was the best sauce out of all of it. That crust, fire. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for this round, man. I'm gonna give it a nine. Crazy coming from a New York guy. It's pretty high scores for Little Caesars this round. All right, real quick. You have made it this far through the video, guys. Please hit that like button, click subscribe, and turn on your notifications because the next round we are trying specialty pizzas. I These are all pretty much considered their top highest rated pizzas of their entire menu. Let's start with Pizza Hut Original Pan Pizza Supreme. This one's $18 for a medium. This is the Pizza Hut Supreme. Mm. Pillowy, cheesy, that mozzarella is solid. I actually thought the pizza was kind of bland. The quality of the ingredients is there, and it's cooked well, but there's no flavor coming off from any of the toppings. Like, not adding okay. anything to the pizza. I know what you mean. I feel like this pizza kind of falls into my well-rounded pizza, so I gotta give it a 7.5 out of 10. Think about it. 7.5. I'm gonna give it a 7. Can't be mad at it. Solid. It's solid. Guys, this is the Domino's Pan Pizza Supreme. Domino's brought the heat. It is like coming in really solid. Look at the caramelization on the crust. I think this has the most flavor of any pizza we've had so far. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I give this a solid 8.5. Give it an 8.5. Straight out of Sicily. And the other one look like a flampleno. The next pizza up in our specialty category is the Asian contestant here. We got Koreatown Pizza Company. This is called the Kingsley. Bloomin' onion one, oh, bulgogi man. with a sweet potato crust is looking easily the craziest. Oh, is that even pizza at this point? It has a sweet potato crust and it has a blooming onion smack dab in the middle Ooh. to represent the crown of the king. Uh, they do have pizzas with kimchi, but this one doesn't. This Koreatown pizza is price-wise just way above the rest of these. This was $27. When you look at what they give you, I can see why they're charging a higher price. I mean, you're getting like bulgogi all over the pizza and then you're getting this massive blooming onion on top. All right, guys, this is how the slice is looking. It's crazy. I would say the bottom is pretty wet and greasy at this point. This is Koreatown Pizza Company, the Kingsley. Oh that sweet potato crust though? It's stuffed. is isn't as much bulgogi sauce on the beef. I would say the beef almost was uh, more like, like beef teriyaki, that, more than a bulgogi. By far the spiciest pizza we had here. But that, of uh, flavor-wise, it just did not have that cohesiveness as a pizza slice. So I'm gonna give it an eight. I also give it an eight out of 10. It did have the most flavor out of any pizza, but it didn't taste like pizza, and I probably wouldn't eat another bite. No. I'm giving it a nine. It was my favorite pizza that I've had today. The most tasty. Yeah. The most yeah. tasty, yeah. But I had to show the people the expensive Asian pizza. All right, we're gonna try Papa John's Super Hawaiian Pizza. This not only has pineapple and Canadian bacon, but it has regular bacon too. Games, bro. For sure. Looks like it's stuffed crust, but there's nothing in it. Papa John's Hawaiian. Not bad. The toppings mm. really carry this pizza for me, but that sweet sauce is really hard to get by. I'm wasting no time, guys, and putting the garlic dipping sauce on it. I think the Hawaiian goes best with the dipping sauce. Still can't get past the sauce, though. Let me say this. Their garlic sauce was still way better than Domino's garlic yeah, sauce. That's true. Gar that's true. Domino's garlic sauce, not good. Domino's garlic sauce was trash. But, this uh, was pretty strong, in my opinion. 7.5 is the first number that came into my mind. I wanted to give it a 7.5, too. I'm going to give it a 7. Benson, say this doesn't taste a little bit like the Jollibee spaghetti, though. 100%. <laughs> that tomato sauce? Oh, man, just put some, like, noodles in there. Oh, my God, Benson, we thought you were on our side. <laughs> the last and final specialty pizza, we've got Little Cesar's. The extra bestest stuffed crust pizza from Little Caesar's. So this pizza, Little Caesar's, of course, always giving you deals. $9 for the stuffed crust pizza. Little Caesar's will probably tell you themselves that their pep is probably their strongest, Bro, not even crust. their supreme. Little Caesar's extra bestest stuffed crust. Why does this taste worse to me than the first yeah. pizza? <laughs> for stuffed crust, you gotta go with Pizza Hut, because oh. this stuffed crust was not fire. I think, just, I think Little Caesar's best pizza is just like the regular the pepper regular five bucks. Yeah. Man, I was really excited for the second slice of Little Caesar's, but I'm sorely disappointed. I'll have to give it a six. It not taking price into consideration, I gotta give it a six. I'm gonna give it a 6.5. I think Little Caesar's strength is 
the five dollar pizzas. Guys, we have tried <clears throat> 10 different pizzas. Each pizza chain is being scored out of 60 points total. And these are the final total scores for each pizza spot. So coming in at a total score of 39 out of 60, Papa John's. Let me, let me just tell you this, uh, Papa John's has seen better days. I'm actually excited for Shaq to be a part of their board. You think, think Shaq's gonna I make think, the pizza better? Uh, Moving on. At a score of 43.5 out of 60, we have Lil Caesars. Well, anyways, guys, that lost. But by only 0.5 of a score to the 44 out of 60 score that Pizza Hut got. So uh, this Little Caesars lost by half a point. To they are like the most conservative in the sense of like they're not taking risks. We have two pizzas left. One of them won first, one of them won second, with the winner blowing the competition out of the water. 53 points out of 60. I wouldn't mind getting that on a test. Domino's Pizza! Woo! Uh, Koreatown Pizza Company came in at 47 out of 60. Really not a bad score either, but man, 53 marked the competition. I could see if you're with foodies and you're doing a foodie meetup and you guys are in quarantine, whatever, order a Korean pizza because just the wackiness of it makes it a whole experience. Yeah. Korean food in general, to me, ends up fitting the Western palate a lot better. Between these two pizzas, guys, you wanna pay, taste some crazy pizza and you got a little extra cash, try the Koreatown Pizza Company in LA. But obviously, guys, if you are going for a fast food pizza chain and you want the best deal with the most flavor, Domino's is the way to go. I remember as a kid, Domino's really sucked, but then they really looked deep within themselves and they had a moment was like, guys, we suck. And as men, if we can look at what Domino's did to better themselves, we can look at ourselves to better ourselves. Too. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching our Pizza Major Chain Showdown. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, a like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Number one in the comment section below, let us know what is your favorite pizza from your favorite pizza chain and why. Best comment gets a $25 Amazon gift card. We Come up with your best pizza. I want to hear it. You guys, please pick a chain that you would like to see go through a Domino's type refresh. Some chains are maybe local to just your region, but let us know in the comments below. You're like, yo, that one needs to get that Domino's glow up. Thank you so much for watching that video. Ryan, David, Andrew, check out all our links down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, ready? Two, one, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, oh. 3.2.5, two. Pretty good, man. Yo, John did a number on that pizza. He hasn't swallowed it yet, though. <laughs>